Hello everyone, welcome to the MCDSP YouTube channel. Today we're going to be taking a closer look at the MCDSP NR800 plugin. Let's get started. The MCDSP NR800 plugin is a real-time noise reduction processor that can eliminate various kinds of noise in music production, post-production, and live sound situations. In this session, we'll be taking a look at one of its applications in music production, and how you can use the plugin snap function to get up and running quickly and intuitively. Here, I have an electric guitar track that has quite a bit of audible hiss in between chords. Note that I've already set the onboard high pass and low pass filters to get rid of unnecessary lows and highs. I've also changed the noise reduction mode to dynamic mode instead of its default smooth one mode. I did this because it's quite a bit faster than Smooth One, and I know I'm going to want to clamp down on this noise really quickly whenever it happens. Let's listen to what this guitar sounds like without any processing from the NR800. Luckily, like I said, we have the snap controls to get us 95% of the way there in no time. These snap controls tell the plugin to quickly analyze the source's frequency spectrum and then to set the noise reduction gain and threshold for each frequency band accordingly. To properly utilize a snap control, simply click the THR or threshold button and then click the gain button while audio is playing. It's important that they are clicked in this order. Another important factor to consider is when you click the snap function's buttons. Clicking them while the undesired noise is playing on its own will provide a more aggressive result and clicking them while the desired signal is playing will leave you with less aggressive noise reduction. In this case, I'm looking for something more aggressive, so I'll click them during the space in between chords where there is audible hiss. Now the noise is significantly quieter, but it's still present. Let's utilize the solo buttons and noise reduction gain faders on each of the noisiest frequency bands to make a couple tweaks that will get us the rest of the way there. I'm pretty happy with that, but if you're having a little bit of difficulty getting the result that you'd like, try changing the noise reduction bias control and noise reduction mode. The latter will allow you to clamp down on unwanted noise at different speeds, while the former will change the way the plugin determines its snap values. Note that every time you alter your noise reduction bias control, you must also set your snap values once again to account for the change. That's all we've got for today. Thank you so much for tuning in. Be sure to click the like and subscribe buttons for more MCDSP tips and content, and we will see you next time.